ducks are attempting to break out, so we're sending in the troops in the name of Max. Feet in, feet in, darling. Feet in. Sending in Max with some rocks, and he is going to build up the corner. Wave, Max. Wave to the camera. Corner with a hole. Get away, Max. That corner. That corner. Right. That corner. That. Don't corner. shout, Sarah. Right. Yeah. Underneath the water, Max. Yeah. Stop them getting out. Max. They're digging out. Yeah. Try and squiggle them, squiggle it around so you fit them in really good, nice and tight. <laughs> Just put that one in the gap. In the, no, no, well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. All right, now, now screw it back down. Screw it back down. Head down, Max. Head down. Head down. <laughs> Mind your fingers. Why am I doing that, Dad? Just stay there, right? Bye, Max. Bye. Can you sleep in the duck house overnight? Bye. No? Okay. We're going to try and stroke one of the ducks. Oh no! I'm one up there. I'll stroke one of these! I'll stroke one of those! Stroke one of the fluffy ones? Either or, yeah. Pick one of them, just stroke one. Be brave, they're not going to peck you. I want to do this one. Go on then. You're bigger than they are, Max. I want to get in. I think they're fluffy, they're fluffy with this Technically, they're supposed to be the friendliest chickens going. Yes. Out, oh look, they are coming to you. Leave them, let them come. No, okay. I'm gonna get in. <laughs> Mommy, yes, he's in here. Yep. Highly unimpressed. Yeah. We'll bring the pizza down to you, okay? <laughs> you have to eat quick. So the past couple of days we have been building a new bed all the way around the edge of where the septic tank is. Um, down the side is eventually going to be a rockery all the way around and then there will be my bog garden my gun over there in the middle so eventually that's going to be a bog garden um, a few plans for that but yeah for now we have a little mini wall of lavender a little, little hedge of lavender all the way around the edge so like five lavenders and then something else in between so we've got some geraniums some sedums uh, there's a couple of oxide daisy clumps a salvia around there, some more sedums over there and then there's a little space at the end because despite having bought goodness knows how many lavenders um, I ran out. Oops! So there's a bit of the rockery and whatnot from the other side and here is my orchard from the other end of a view. I do love this orchard view. got some plums, some pears, some apples. I think we actually have our first pear this year. We definitely have got some plums on one of the trees, which I was rather excited about. And we've got heaps and heaps of apples, even on the trees that have uh, been a bit uh, colourlopsed. So coming up now, this is the pipe stream. And normally, for the majority of the year anyway, this is gushing water. Um, it is a very damp, wet area. However, for the last goodness knows how many weeks, considering we had about 10 weeks without significant rainfall, this pipe has not gushed any water. This brings the excess water down, down the hillside and underneath the road. So, uh, so I've managed to get in there anyway and clear out a lot of the overgrown grass and whatnot. And hopefully this will allow some of these ferns to take a bit of root. I'm also looking at what little plants maybe, fern like, damp loving plants that I could get to go in some of the cracks around the pipe. But I'm not going to clog it. So it sort of comes down here. Excuse the dog. She's usually bathing in there now at this point. Um, so it comes down into a stream. There's a whole mess of stuff that I haven't yet got around to removing. But the stream carries on down the middle and then just goes in through those willows there. Um, we've had some fencing put up there. I need to again clear down the inside layer of that, keeping the blackberries, I think, streamside corridor in part at least. Um, but we need to put a stile in here and, uh, and finish that bit of fencing off there. And just over the other side there, I plan to put in my... Um, Acer that I bought the other week um, 
at the um, one of the garden plant shows that we went to and uh, so I want the Acer really I want the Acer in there because it will get some sun on that bank piece it's not damp like all the stuff by the stream but uh, it won't be in full sun it'll be in part sun which will be perfect for it right Max is uh, Max is going in again he's uh, he's being brave he's going into the chickens He's running the chicken gauntlet to get a metal bar. Go, Max, go! You just need to pick that up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Right, pass it to me. Pass it out to James. Right. One, two, three. They're not gonna bite. Look, they're all frightened of you. Say hello, give them a little stroke. possibly here in the background um, and it is time for some rainy day tasks so James has been it's William in the background um, James has been um, sorting out some more bits of hive and I am about to that is William's play area he emptied a box of sawdust Hurrah. I'm about to start tidying up god help me all this mess with my little helper say hi you know wave So there's the hive that James has been sorting out. He's repainted the whole thing and put a, tin, uh, put a slate roof on, sorry. And then wood piles, piles of mess, more bits of innards, my fallen over hurdle, and just mess in general that needs tidying up. So that's my job now for the next hour, hopefully, until the baby uh, requires his next feed. So a couple of wet days. And me being a bit more on the ball. James has been doing some work out here. And mostly looking a lot tidier down the barn. Beehives are gradually starting to become... It's all been swept down. Things have been put away. Looking a lot tidier. 